If you were a fan of Formula 1, you might have wondered if F1 cars have traction control. In this video, we will look at what is traction control and why it is not used in Formula 1. Let's get started. We'll begin by understanding the basics of traction control. In road cars, there are sensors in each of the four wheels. These sensors monitor the speed of the vehicle as well as the speed of the tires. If any of the tires spin faster than the speed of the car, the tire will begin to lose traction. This can lead to skidding or hydroplaning. This is where traction control software steps in and prevents either from happening. Traction control is a software and will activate if a tire spins too fast and will automatically slow its speed. This helps the car regain traction. When it kicks in, the driver might feel a jerk in the car, but this means that the safety feature is working. Road cars are also equipped with anti-lock braking systems or ABS. Opposite to traction control, this system helps stop your car from skidding when there's too little wheel spin. This software ensures that your wheels continue to spin when you brake and is really helpful when driving in wet or icy conditions. ABS is also banned in Formula 1. ABS was banned in F1 in 1994 and traction control was banned in 2008. Now you might be wondering, why is this the case? Isn't Formula 1 all about safety? Recent safety developments like the Halo has saved many people's lives during races. So why would F1 ban these two basic safety systems? The answer to this question is that F1 is a racing sport which should depend on the skill of the driver and not the software which is installed in the car. If unlimited technological developments were allowed, the focus of the sport would move from racecraft and skill to software and hardware development. Eventually, due to better technology, all the driver would have to do is point the car in the right direction and the computer would compute everything from the braking setup, the power delivery, and even the amount of steering input required. So the team with the best software would win championships. And this is not something that fans and race organizers want to see. It is way more fun to watch a wet race and see which driver can get the maximum out of his car under adverse circumstances rather than watching to see which car has the best anti-lock braking system. Hope this video helped you learn why traction control is banned in Formula 1. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content.